All right, we have another uh, combat showcase for our classic RPG team. We got Fane as a mage, Losa as an archer, Sabeel as a rogue, and Red Prince as our tank. As always, this will be done on tactician mode. All right. Um, <clears throat> now, we actually just hit, as you can see the experience bar at the very bottom of the screen there, 3% of the way in. Uh, we just hit level 18. Um, we didn't really get a whole lot of gear, because honestly on this island there's not a whole lot of good gear to buy. When I say good gear, uh, I'm talking about those gold gear. That's, that's, once I hit level 16, that's kind of all I buy. To the point that some of the stuff I have, I just haven't upgraded it much since level 16, because I couldn't find any good gold stuff, which you really shouldn't do, but I have a bad habit of doing that. Like I just kind of look at the gear and I'm like, oh, there's stuff that's not gold, we need to replace it. Um, so I do have some stuff that's at level 18, because... Uh, I don't think anybody on the island sells gold tier divine gear, um, but uh, Tarquin on the ship will still sell you some gold stuff. Fletcher Corwin Day on the ship will still sell you some gold stuff, and they'll be always at your level. Um, and I think that's it for people that'll sell you stuff. Um, so I do have some nice level 18 pants there on Sabeel. She actually needs a lot of stuff upgraded, and I didn't realize how... Okay, yeah. Um, and then one of her daggers, we got to level 18. The other one is still level 16, because, again, I'm bad habit of not buying non-gold gear. Um, and I think that's it for the level 18 stuff we've got. Yeah, actually, all my gear is really out of date. i got to upgrade that before leaving that. Anyway, so we just hit 18. That's just a point of reference for the ease or difficulty of this fight. Uh, Salaman is level 17. So if I breeze through this and you're having trouble, just keep in mind this is a level 18 team. And honestly, I would try to get to level 18 before doing this. I'm only 3% of the way in. And I've done everything on the island other than Salaman, uh, Alexander, and the Academy stuff. So, yeah, to get to level 18 to do this, you got to do pretty much everything leading up to it in the game. Uh, so I'm going to sprout some wings. And then fly on over here to start this thing. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Alright, so Salaman is like the leader of the Black Ring on this island. Um, technically, I guess the God King is the leader of the Black King, uh, or Black Ring. I don't know how you want to consider that. But anyway, uh, we're just going to start this off, come up here. Now, there is another easy way you could do this whole encounter real quick. Is There's lava over here, and there's this, uh, there's this skill book called Terrain Transmutation. I think that's the name. Uh, anyway, it's a polymorph. Yeah, terrain transmutation. Uh, and you can just take the lava over here. Just be like, ah, I'm going to move it over here. And you just kill the salamander in one hit. All right. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to do this a little bit more legitimately. Uh, we're going to prep just positioning and, like, whatever buffs will stay on us here. So we're going to get Losa boosted up. And then we're going to start the encounter here. Yeah, Salaman has fast initiative. Okay. And he does a lot of damage. So I'm hoping he doesn't go for Sabeel. Oh, he's going for the... That's right. Uh, he, I forgot. Uh, he's going to start off with that uh, airborne contamination thing, or plague. Uh, yeah, plague. Uh, it messes up your constitution real bad. So everybody just has lower health. And if you're wearing a shield, you're probably going to drop the shield. Um, and then, you know, resistance just goes down. It, it makes you squishy, is what it does. Uh, it also debuffs your damage quite a considerable amount. And I think Fane... Oh, he does still get to keep his shield. Okay, I thought that would have been enough to de-shield him. Uh, Alright, so this guy, way over there, can't hit him. Bummer. Um, yes, yeah, so... Uh, he's not going to be able to hit us either, though, this turn. So we're going to focus down on this guy, because he is the next enemy to take a turn that actually has a chance of hurting us. 1700. Do I have the high ground at this height? No. Still 900 base. With my 86% chance to crit. Part of me wants to see if I can just kill him outright with barrage, but I don't think I can, so I'm going to use adrenaline. And barrage. Okay, I could have killed him without adrenaline. That, I mean, that's that's good, I guess. Um, and then we've got this bitch up here. 
378 physical armor. Can we knock her down? And oh yeah, we can definitely knock her down. One arrow. All right. Uh, so now this guy's gonna get a normal turn, and uh, the other guy died, and she's knocked down. So we're pretty safe here until Salaman gets his turn, which means we'll have Red Prince, Fane, and Sabeel able to take a turn before we are in any kind of danger, which is good. All right, so first thing we're going to do um, is actually going to be delaying Fane's turn because Salaman is right up here. Actually, no, we're not. I was going to say because he's in melee range of spiel, so why teleport him away? Got to make sure you click him. Um, we're just going to move him right there. Uh, we want him away from Fane because Fane has our Blood Rose Elixir, so I don't want him to die. Um, no, he does have deflection, so you don't want to hit him with ranged attacks. So we're going to just leave him there. I think we're just going to haste Sabeel. And then... Oh, I don't have Bless memorized on him. Son of a bitch. Okay, I was going to try and get rid of that. Cleanse Wounds, Mass Cleanse Wounds, Bless, Steam Lands. Yeah, you got to get you gotta get the, the big guns out to cleanse that. Okay. Uh, so Fortified, no? Doesn't do it? Mm -mm, fortified doesn't do it. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to lower her constitution some more. She's really low hit points. And uh, we're going to try... Oh, he missed. Are you kidding? Oh, look, there's that guy. I didn't realize he was there. Picked a good spot to teleport. All right. Um. So this guy has pretty low magic armor, actually. Had I realized he was there, I probably could have crowd-controlled him with Fane, too. Uh, Salaman's got no physical armor, though. I am knocking him down. Even though it's going to be wasted damage on this guy, I don't care. I am going to do everything I can to get Salaman out of the way. And I'm going to get out of Salaman's way, because he is he's dangerous when he actually attacks. Okay. Oh, projectile deflected. I forgot about... Yeah, that probably wasn't his best idea for me to go up there. Um, and then we're going to Shackles of Pain, Salaman. Not because I think a bunch of people are going to attack Red, but Red's going to do something that deals damage to himself in just a minute. Alright, this guy is out of range right there, so we're going to have to move. And try to not hit Salaman, because I don't want this projectile being deflected. Right there. And... There's not much we can do with her, because I can't use Adrenaline right now. Um, yeah, so that'll be the end of that turn. And then... Uh, oh, she has a lot of magic armor. I can't get rid of that this turn, but I can immobilize her. And then... Um, yeah, I feel like that might be enough to block line of sight. To, to Losa, so we're going to also move Fane over here and hope her being immobilized blocks her from attacking anybody. It didn't. Okay. Alright, and knock both of them down. Blitz attack, take them down. Or, take their health down. Yeah, we'll just blitz attack them. <laughs> Um, and then we can't get another attack off, so we're just gonna head back over there. Uh, Red doesn't need to use any crowd control on them. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, boost up his physical armor. I'm at 2200, that'll make this deal more damage. And since he's got Shackles of Pain going, Salaman's gonna take double damage from that. And that'll be the turn, I think. He's hasten. She's slowed, so let's hasten her. Okay. And she cannot attack that black ring maiden. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're we're in range now. Just light her up. Yeah, I guess we have to use another arrow here, don't we? All right, and that'll end that turn. They're still knocked down over there. Um, I don't know what hit Fane, but it looks like he did lose his shield now. Uh, Salaman is going to revive with no armor in just a little bit, so I am going to make him wet right there. 
Okay. Did that other one die already? No, there he is. He's just kind of hard to see. Uh, he's only got 400 magic armor. So we can stun him real quick. I don't think I really needed to, but we can. Okay, and then Sabeel is going to... She's going to use challenge on Salaman. So if he dies in the next two turns, Sabeel gets like an armor and damage boost. And it costs no AP to use that. But if Salaman doesn't die in two turns, Sabeel gets debuffed, I believe. Oh, I take damage and he gets the buffs I would have got. That's what it is. Okay. And I did move just a little bit too far away to actually attack. And yeah, we're just... Basic attack will be enough to kill him. Now, unfortunately, I think I just messed that up. Wait, challenge lost? What? But I won the challenge. I killed him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I mean, it does, but it's not a big deal. Um... I don't know if Salaman gets revived here. But I didn't think that would affect that skill. Alright, so Salaman pops back up. And that was his whole turn. That one. Oh, I thought he had no armor when he popped back up. Doesn't matter. <laughs> More wrong information, but now, now anybody watching this knows that it's wrong information. Alright. I uh, got that. And then uh, we just start lighting them up down here. Oh, yeah, that... Yeah, okay. And Salaman only has 400. Does he have any resistances? Uh, Not to those two. Okay, so don't use earth or poison on him. Got it. That's good. I was going to use or earth and poison on him. Alright. And... And he's dead. Okay. Uh, so that is the Salaman fight. I'm going to drop a pyramid... Right here, just so we can get back to this later. And for the time being, uh, we're going to go do Alexander's fight. Alright, so with the Alexander fight here, uh, there's a few things. First off, you talk to him, tell him you killed the Salaman, give him like the Salaman's hand as proof uh, that you killed him. And then he'll give you some stuff, information to get into the academy, if you haven't already found the secret entrance to the academy. Um, but if you do that, you get quest reward XP, and then Alexander kind of just walks off with all these paladins and magisters. If you want the combat XP for killing Alexander and all these magisters, you're going to need to do some, some improv work to uh, get them to not walk away. Uh, so I'm going to do some of that to uh, get some oil on the ground, slow them all down a little bit. Um, and because of the way this fight works, I have to prep for this in order to just get the fight to happen. Uh, because if I just go talk to him, um, there's really no way to uh, also fight. Uh, so we're going to do that. And it does lower their attitude a little bit when you attack stuff. I don't know if that's because it hit him, maybe? I doubt it, because I feel like I would have just attacked at that point. Anyway, um, we're going to do some stuff to just get oil around so they're slowed. Um, and some other quick little... I mean, mostly that, actually. It's just mostly the oil, so they get slowed. Uh, I thought I had... There we go. That's such a tiny little area. Let's just... Get that. Okay. And then, yeah, the tiny little area with this one here. Just uh, fill that gap in. Okay, and we're going to want Thane to also be up top, just so if I need to teleport somebody, he's going to be able to see them. Uh, Red right here, also able to teleport somebody, uh, if need be. Now, this might take me a few tries. If it does, I'll just cut to the time when it works. <laughs> um, but basically, you got to get the quest XP, talk to Alexander, and then piss them off enough to where they want to fight you. <laughs> um, so I think I actually... I'm going to, without damaging him, get him covered in oil. Yeah, okay, that way, that way don't attack me too early. Okay, get the oil back there. Alright, and then I believe that did slow Sabeel, so we're going to give her haste. 
because uh, I just don't want her to start off slow. We will buff, buff up Sabeel. Um, may as well give her some armor while we're at it. Don't see why not. Oh, she just get re-slowed. She did just get re-slowed. Okay, that's fine. All right. Saving again, because it's, it's going to take me a few tries. I don't want to redo that every time. All right, so... Uh, well, now Fane is running down here like an idiot because I clicked slightly off. Okay. Uh, so the plan here, again, is get Sabeel to finish this conversation, get the quest XP, and then we just need to piss them off enough to get them to attack. Um, I don't think you can attack them right here and not, like, mess up the quest XP. God, I keep clicking slightly off. Okay. Hold on. All right, so when you talk to Alexander, uh, tell him that the settlement is no more. And then really, really prep for stuff here. <laughs> like, over-prep. Just get ready. Um, you can't, you, it would help to piss these guys off just a little bit, uh, which is what I'm trying to do. So I'm not going to hit them, and I'm going to damage their stuff. Just get their attitude a little bit lower. Um, I don't know if hitting them is going to, like completely start combat right there. Um, I guess I could have Red come talk to one and just see what their attitude is with me. Okay, so it's positive still, which is a little unfortunate. Um, Alright. Um, quick that, quick a... Th okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We got, we got some combat. Where's the rest of it? Okay. Alright, alright. Looks like we got most of them in. Yeah, I don't think any of them walked away. That's good. Okay, so that was that was a good... Uh, I think there was an archer up here. He may have walked away. That's not a, a terribly big deal, though. It is hard to get them all to stay. That was actually one of the more successful times that I've done it. Because if you notice, Alexander was like still walking after the first attack. Like, they, uh, they like to stick around. All right, so this one is a scale that I love, but I just haven't gotten around to it on this run. So, we're going to try that one out on... I don't know, because she's got mostly magic armor. I guess we won't try it out right now. We'll get to it eventually. Okay. Get that magic armor down get her knocked out, and then Alexander is the next one up. These guys are pretty fucked up already, though, actually. Um, yeah, we're, we're good to go right there. We're gonna get Sabeel just out of that little area, because that's, that's gonna be the, uh, the clusterfuck area right there. Uh, now, red is right next to these guys, but I'm still going to use Entangle, because Red wants to be right next to those guys anyway. Uh, so that's that's all fine and dandy. Oh, I can hit them without hitting Red. Okay, we'll do that. Just save him some damage. And then we will hasten him. Okay. So let's see. Alexander has a lot of armor, actually. Uh, we will take this guy, move him right into there. And then honestly, I think my best damage option with red right now is the little thing I did with Salaman a little while ago. Um, I don't think I can get... Oh, I can get somebody, right? With the... Do all of them still have... Okay, this guy. So we will get him with the double damage right there. Um, and this skill, actually, if you get Savage Swordwidge, this can crit... It can't crit by default, because it's a spell. Um, Bouncing Shield can't crit without Savage Swordledge, and Tentacle Lash cannot crit without Savage Swordledge. And also Medusa Head. So yeah, if you, if you want a damage-dealing tanky character, Savage Swordledge is your way to go, because this one, you like, it scales on your shield and warfare. Uh, anyway, yeah, Savage Swordledge, it can help. I don't have it, but if you want to deal damage with a tanky character, Savage Swordledge and high crit chance is the way to go. Oh, that guy almost died from that. It's close. If he wasn't entangled and he tried running away, 
he could uh, get opportunity attacked and died, except he just got healed by Alexander. Also, the fun part about this, not the fun, I guess the fun fact about this fight, uh, even though Alexander is like the boss of this fight, like he's the big bad, whatever, I mean, he's not the, anyway, he's like the main threat. He's actually not that threatening to us. He just has a lot of heal and support spells that will go to the other magisters and paladins. So he's actually not the top priority to kill because he's not a top threat to us. All right, uh, which honestly none of them I would say is the top threat. They're all kind of equally uh, prioritized, um, except this guy's up, got no armor, so he's probably the top priority to crowd control here. Um, yeah, are any of them? Oh, wait, he's ready to die. Let's adrenaline. And then we're gonna use our uh, executioner trick with barrage, and now we're gonna use challenge as well with that on that guy. So the Executioner trick is you use Barrage and only shoot one arrow at one target, and then you shoot the other two at a target that you actually want to hit. And then you kill the one target. And it, uh, yeah, it, it cost me one AP to kill that guy and deal damage to the other guy. It, it's a nice use of a skill. And who's up next for us? Sabeel. We start with six action points, I think. Nope, just five. Okay. Uh, so this guy is up now. Okay, so she's the one. Eh. We'll just hit them all with that. And then we'll get in backstab range of Alexander. And with that, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna kill Alexander here again. This one is just gonna be like pow 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 pow. I, I thought he was going to live for a second. Like, that, that took longer to actually kill him than I thought it would. Uh, and we may as well hit her. She's the only one with any physical armor left. I forgot I used adrenaline with him, so I can't do what I was planning on doing. My guys can tank this hit, right? They'll be fine. Yeah, see, they're fine. Um, and then we got the magic armor down, so we'll just throw on Medusa head so they are just completely locked in for the next couple of turns. So now it doesn't really matter what we do, they're gonna be petrified for like the next three turns. So we are at no real risk of any kind of attack, which is nice. All right, now we can do jack shit because I'm just a little bit too far back, I guess. There we go, they are petrified though, so that's not gonna deal as much damage. Anyway, uh, so that's the Alexander fight. You got the main thing here is the setup is making sure that they don't all run away or slowly walk away after you peacefully resolve the conflict with the Salaman quest. Uh, you want you want to resolve it peacefully and then immediately resolve it violently if you want to maximize the XP there. Which I mean, you know, who doesn't want to maximize XP in a in an RPG, right? Let's get this on fire with holy fire. Oh, the holy fire doesn't light it up. Okay. Anyway. That was Alexander and Salaman, one video, because they're both, uh, like, the last two difficult fights in this act. Uh, we'll be on Act 4 next time, in arcs. I don't know... Well, I call it Act 4. I think the game still considers this and the next one is Act 3. Anyway, we'll be in arcs next time. Fourth Island that you go to. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to start off with there, but we're going to be up there next time. So that is it for Act 3 and this video. Uh, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Fun stuff tiny channel. Help me out. Uh, see you guys in arcs for the next one.